Anyone else notice the blue characters are all already dog vision colors? Your dog can watch it too. Chili. It's good to see you. Yeah. You look just like you. I brought you some presents. Really? Oh, Brandy. I wasn't sure how much they've grown in um four years. It's been too long. I know. Look, Chili. Yeah? Uh, Mom. <laughs> it's happened. Look, I have to go. This was a mistake. Mom. Why did Auntie Brandy want to leave? Is she sad? There's something Auntie Brandy wants more than anything is But she can't have it. And there's not really anything anyone can do. Why can't she just have the things she wants? Because it's not meant to be. We had to see if you were okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry it's been so long. Oh, it's just hard seeing you all, you know? I know. Come on! Am I just being yourself? Look, it's just monkeys singing songs, mate. Don't think too hard about it. I love robbery and fraud. I'm a shock lifting god. Bitch, I'm never gonna teach you every scam that I got. Watch your purse around me, cause I'll snatch it up like that. Use your EBT card for a taco and some snacks. My God, I've been watching this fascinating show lately, sort of analyzing the psychology of family dynamic within a suburban setting. Oh, great. Highlighting the world through the perspective of a neurodivergent antagonist. Oh, wow. 
exploring imagination, parental involvement, emotional resilience, and the power of play. Ah. Look, I left it on a cliffhanger last night, and I'm dying to see how it ends. I'm off. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes does your outside voice say yes when your inside voice really means no? Oh yeah, like this. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bingo. Me too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> can you think of a way that we can make it up to you? Whoa, Whoa hang, hang on. on.
is a lie. Oh, I do like to be beside the Whoa. sea. Oh. Morning, Wendy. <laughs> Season 3 of Bluey is turning out to be the most censored season so far. Here are the seven changes that Disney has made to the Disney Plus episodes. Bandit doesn't get hit in a uh, sensitive spot in Born Yesterday. Swing! Woo. This is... Oh. <laughs> they removed Buttermilk's poop at Muffin's birthday party and passed the parcel. Bandit and Fido's conversation about getting a vasectomy is now about getting dog teeth removed. Look, I'm keen to get it done, but Chili, she wants to keep her options open. But, oh, no, do we want any more of these things running around? Hey! The day laborer from Argentina is now a backpacker in Explorers. Neither are we. I'm from Argentina. And I'm from France. In driving, Agatha now threatens to scratch up the curtains instead of pee on them. Also help me out! Uh, you what? Um, pee on your curtains! <laughs> Aunt Trix is no longer on the toilet in Facey Talk. <laughs> They entirely cut the episode family meeting, which I'll talk about in another video. I genuinely don't get this level of censorship. It's silly. Here's a line from Bluey that a lot of people get wrong. There's a really popular scene in the episode Ice Cream, where the ice cream is melted and Bluey says, so we get nothing, and Bandit basically says, well, you get a valuable life lesson, and Bluey says, I don't want a valuable life lesson, I want an ice cream. But the thing is, Bluey doesn't say she wants a valuable life lesson. She says she doesn't want a valuable lime lesson. This is even wrong in the captions on Disney+. Plus. And for those of you who don't believe me... <laughs> well, you get a valuable life lesson. I don't want a valuable lime lesson! I just want an ice cream. I just saw the most cursed bluey meme idea ever and I, I had to edit it. So, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put these wet clothes on the line. Put these... Oh! Uh... Oh, I thought I was gonna feel all better. I'm sorry. That's okay. You tried your best. This episode of Bluey is called Daddy Put Down. Hey, Logan. What'd you call that? You said, where does what go? Rubbish. The rubbish? Yeah. What's we, rubbish? Like, where did I, where does this go at? Like, but what's rubbish? Rubbish? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. You, you said, where's the rubbish go? What is that? The trash. The, the trash? Yeah. But okay. which one do I do? This? Yeah, put it in the other one. This? Yeah, that's recyclable. Okay, close it. Okay, it's okay. The monster's gone. He's on the run. And your daddy's here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful boy. Rainbow Baby? A recent episode of the hit Aussie cartoon Bluey has caused many fans of the show to speculate whether the main character Bluey is actually a rainbow baby. A rainbow baby is the term for a child born to a family that has previously lost a child to miscarriage, stillbirth, or infant death. In episode 16 of season 2, Bluey is playing parents in a Mother's Day show with her sister Bingo by tucking a balloon into her shirt. When the balloon unexpectedly pops, the children's dad Bandit immediately grabs their mum Chili's hand to console her. Michael Vaughan, who shared his rainbow baby theory on TikTok, told Yahoo Life, one area where Bluey excels is 
is making parents feel seen when they're struggling. And I love the thought that the show is making an effort to include parents who didn't get to meet their baby or spend the time with them. When asked why the producers couldn't have dealt with the tough topic more directly, Vaughn speculated that there's not really a great way to explain to a child what a miscarriage is. So, do you think Bluey is a rainbow baby? Good morning, Uncle Gorgeous. How much is this? Oh, uh, so buy four, get one free. I love the free one. No, Gorgeous, you mean to pay for this? Gorgeous! Devoted Bluey fans have raised an intriguing theory surrounding Bingo. Recent episodes have subtly hinted at potential health issues for Bingo, leading many viewers to speculate that she may be dealing with celiac disease. The theory gained traction after a superfan named Michael took to TikTok to point out some clues that you might have missed. The speculation first began in Season 1 when Bingo was unexpectedly hospitalised. This happened in episode Bumpy and Wise Old Wolfhound. And in episodes like Daddy Drop Off and Grandad, subtle hints about celiac disease have been dropped. While preparing the children's lunchboxes, Bandit quietly mutters, OK, gluten free, gluten not free, indicating that one of the kids may have a gluten intolerance. And in various other episodes where Bingo accompanies her family on grocery trips, the presence of gluten-free items in the shopping trolley further supports the fan theory about Bingo's health. Have you noticed anything? Just found out tonight on TikTok that there is like all of these teenagers who are obsessed and having bluey birthday parties, which I think is wild and wonderful. Bueno, ahora voy a curar mis traumas infantiles y de apego emocional viendo Bluey. Wey, eso se trata en terapia. Dile eso a la gente con dinero. I start my new job, running unofficial, unlicensed and unsolicited Bluey tours of Brisbane. At the moment, my tour bus only has one seat and it's only open to family members. We're doing the ice cream tour today and it starts in the museum gift shop. I know this is the right spot as I recognise the whales, which is handy, because now this also doubles as a whale watching tour. We saw the wheel, the archway and even the food court ibis. The tour ends with chocolate ice cream by the river. Now, as a parent, it's a great way to spend an afternoon, but economically, my tours make absolutely no sense. I'm actually losing money running them. An awful business plan. The voice of Bandit, David McCormack, has been popping up in different ads in Australia recently. Like this one, for furniture. Every Aussie knows that sound. But did you know fantastic manufacturers sofas and mattresses right here in Australia? Using Dave's voice is a clever idea because the advertisers can, like, get an endorsement from Bandit without getting an endorsement from Bandit. But I'm not sure if it's the best idea because parents would know that not even Bandit would take advice from Bandit especially when it comes to furniture. I'm not taking advice from a cartoon dog. 